Hey, what's going on, everybody? Willis here. We are back with another Genshin Impact video. I'm going to be giving you guys some quick tips in this video regarding building some stuff maybe you didn't know. Um, but yeah, obviously, before we jump into today's video, if you guys would like to win a bunch of Primal Gems, um, jump in my Discord, discord.gg slash Willis. Go to the Genshin giveaway channel. We are currently running a 10,000 Primal Gem giveaway, which anyone can enter. Yeah, support the video with a like, subscribe to this channel. 18% of you are actually subscribed and then like 80% aren't. So definitely subscribe is the place to be for all that Genshin news tips, all that good stuff. But yeah, uh, let's go over the tips because uh, this is going to help a lot of you and uh, maybe a lot of people don't actually know this stuff. So the first major tip I'm going to give is uh, the alignment of items. Now, a lot of you might not know this. I I'm ashamed to say I may have just found this out today um but you can uh, turn off snapping so what does that mean so snapping basically means here so basically for the longest time I was trying to get this to like align with the uh the uh the building here and it was sort of like snapping and I think I can like sort of show it here so you see how it, it's like snapping and you can't really put it where you want to put it so you, if you actually go up to the settings up here in the top left um un untick the snap furniture and you can actually move your item pretty much anywhere you want or as long as it's not touching you can put it as close as you want and i think that's uh really helpful honestly um for those of you perfectionists out there trying to get everything perfectly aligned the snapping might actually ruin you so maybe turn that off and uh, redo your island because it will help unfortunately you can't get it super close which is my only peeve about the snapping uh, regarding the building area, so a lot of you are probably building a lot of outside uh, items. So if you want to get up your adeptal energy, so if you come up here, look, my adeptal energy. Oh, Tubby's actually glowing. Why was he glowing? That was cool. So my adeptal energy is actually 10,000. I'll show you how to get that high in a minute. But I would recommend uh, you only get the inside furniture if you're buying the blueprints. The first thing you want to be doing is buying the inside uh, furniture blueprints don't buy anything outside because outside is going to get full really quick until you reach level five is when you get the next area so i'll tell you the difference as well about why it's actually better to build inside than outside for the, for at least the early levels um essentially inside has more rooms and each room has a different load but i'll go into that in a bit um obviously if you didn't know this is going to be very annoying for a lot of you but pets unfortunately are actually really bad to get because they have a really high load what does that mean essentially um an example uh it's probably not true but this crane probably takes up at least maybe let's say two or maybe three statues and he only gives 100 whereas these statues give 90. uh when i'm talking about these numbers i'm talking about the adaptal energy they actually give you so this pet uh, it gives you 100, but it takes up so much space. It may not look like it, but the pets just take up so much load, unfortunately. So it's actually better to just uh, store the pets and just get more of the uh, very expensive items. But like I said, you want to sort of focus on the inside. Uh, focusing on the inside is going to be much better. We'll go inside and I'll explain what I mean by that. So outside here, you can see the load is yellow. And this is everything I've put in the area together. Uh, inside is completely different so as you go into the different rooms inside of your house um, every single room has a different load so as you can see here this main room has a yellow load uh, this room here also has a yellow load because it's almost full this room here has a yellow load because I basically filled it with my uh, Bitcoin farming I'll explain that in a bit but this room here is green so you can actually put more items in here and the cool thing is like I said every single room is different like it doesn't share the same thing as outside so you can actually put more items down inside so what i've recently started doing uh to level up my adaptal energy is i've basically started learning a lot of the inside blueprints so this morning i learned this really big carpet um basically items i know i'm gonna use i learned this little alchemy set by here which is really good um, I think these are like blue items, which are really good. I built these stoves just to give me some adaptable energy. And this room here. So these things here, I did explain this in one of my other videos, what this is. Essentially, each one of these is actually giving me 90 adaptable energy. 
but they also don't cost any load so you can actually put a ton of them down um obviously um only do this if you're in a rush this is just for people who want to get a bunch of coins because obviously having a lot of adeptal energy uh is going to give you more coins per hour right that's essentially why we're doing this that's essentially why we're putting so many items down um when we do unlock the next area which is trust rank five you'll have more than one buildable outside zone so that's when you can actually start learning or buying even uh the outside furniture so come over to tubby and go to his realm depot don't ever buy these furnishings they are a waste um whenever you get a bunch of coins you want to just start learning stuff that maybe um you're actually going to build in the future so like i said what i've started doing is buying stuff that looks like i guess it goes inside um a lot of the blue items are good uh what i'm actually going to do as well there's actually a, a spreadsheet in the video description for the best items you can actually buy early game so i think some of the examples where uh the pine folding screens are probably one of the best items uh i've probably already got this actually so i think you you just get that for free it's, it, it was the room with the uh the bitcoin farming i literally just showed um what's also good as well is these walls these walls are really good um stuff like the paintings uh if you can buy some of the paintings those are really good let's see if we can find any of the paintings here they should be up here somewhere where are they basically any of the any, anything like the furniture stuff which is blue the blue items are really freaking good um stuff like the uh coat of arms i don't know if we can find that i'm basically just reading from the spreadsheet here but yeah uh before you actually buy any items from here if you have coins to spend i would recommend checking out the spreadsheet just to see if there's any items um at the top that you can buy which are with the uh coin early game um yeah that's essentially most of the tips i can give you um other than that like i said if you guys are looking to level up your trust rank uh what i would do is try and farm a bunch of coins first which is i think what most people are doing and then in between putting down the uh what are they call the folding screens uh buy uh blueprints buy blueprints for the items you need learn them and then build them because when you build them it gives you xp for crafting it for the first time so whenever you buy a blueprint here you can see come over to create furnishing here any item you can see that has this little icon you see the little teapot icon first time you craft it you'll actually get xp that's pretty much only like i guess one of the only ways right now to get xp um other than i guess like filling out the book and stuff but uh, yeah anything with this little icon is uh, a must as you can see here i'm actually uh building the screens i've got four hours left on all of them make sure as well um you are speeding up your building that's another great tip i can give make sure you invite your friend whenever you're crafting over just tell them to come over talk to tubby and they can actually speed up your crafting by a few hours and this helps a ton another huge tip and the last final tip i will give is uh make sure you're doing this every day so go to the realm depot go to furnishings and it'll probably be at the top view buy these vial of adeptal speeds buy five of them every single day and make sure you are buying five of them uh or you're missing out because it essentially lets you instant craft five items for free every single day and this is going to speed up a lot so i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like join the discord discord.gg slash willis uh, obviously if you guys are interested in that 10,000 primal gem giveaway don't forget to enter like i said head over to the genshin giveaway channel uh we're also live streaming every single day now so every day literally every day at 5 p.m london time you can catch me over on twitch all my links are down below in the video description and yeah i will see you guys in my next video peace